today's episode is all about turkey. Wild turkey. So I knew I was doing a video on wild turkey this week, but I did not expect to see this. Uh, hi. Okay, too close, too close. But they just came up. And I, look at that. A whole group of turkeys just hanging out on the side of the road here in rural South Carolina. I was not expecting this today. Weird. So the bird, the turkey, we eat it a lot this year and there's also a country named Turkey. So why is our turkey called Turkey? Because in Turkey, they actually call the bird Hindi, which means from India. In India, they call the bird Peru. In Arabic, it's actually called the Greek chicken. And in Greek, it's called the French chicken. And in French, it's called the Indian chicken. And here's the catch, the turkey is not indigenous to any of those places. In reality, this whole thing is actually pretty simple if you understand two different things. The history. History. And you understand biogeography. Biogeography. So today, we know that there are two different species of turkeys. Oscillated turkey and the wild turkey, which is found from Canada all the way down to southern Mexico. All right, so way down here, the Aztecs domesticated a wild turkey. When the Spanish arrived, they thought that was pretty cool, and they brought it back to Europe. Now here's where the history, of course, plays an important role. You see, the major trade route at that time went through Constantinople, which is Turkey, and so apparently the other languages in the region got their turkeys from other countries and other trade routes. Now let's talk about the turkey as our national bird. Now, you might have heard that Benjamin Franklin was a big champion for the turkey, that he wanted it to be the national bird. That's not really true. The only reference that's made by Benjamin Franklin about the turkey is that he said that bald eagles were of low moral character in comparison with the turkey. Turkey behavior. Now first and foremost, turkeys, like many birds, have a big difference between the males and the females. In fact, the males are big and showy, and they strut around trying to get breeding rights with the females. Now the best place to actually observe turkey behavior is from a blind, all camouflaged up, looking out across a big pasture where there are woods all around because this is where the toms will come in and try to mate with the hens. And to make it more fun, you can put out a couple of hen decoys because the toms are attracted to that. And you could make calls, either the toms or more likely the hens. And the turkeys will hear that and kind of migrate in and see what's going on. But you gotta make sure that you're all camouflaged but they will see you. And that's just the very basics of the wild turkey. So stay tuned for more. So just as a reminder, Untamed Science is actually a collaborative effort between a lot of scientists and filmmakers. Now, if you haven't seen more of our videos, check them out. And if you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel because we have more videos every single week. A brand spanking new video with a new science topic every week. <laughs> yeah, this is why I don't That's do this good. part.